Hi, welcome to a, another quick Howler tutorial. Um, I was in the middle of doing a painting and I realized that I didn't really have a um, wave brush for making these waves and things here that I was really happy about. I've been having a lot of uh, problems with computer cameras and computers crashes and things, so I'm sorry I didn't uh, get one up last week. So this one will be nice and short. and. Uh, Basically, um, I'm just going to go over how I go about um, finding new brushes. So, um, in the media section here, there's a lot of uh, options. And you can see what I mean about computer issues. And so I was trying out some different ones. Um, I tried the choppy water. Um, and once you've set it for matte, switch to color over. You can see that would make, you know, some choppy little waves and things. But this is obviously a, a much smoother wave rolling in um, kind of area. So that really wasn't working um, for me. We'll make it stick here. Um, textures, of course, aren't really uh, working well. And uh, edge smoothers and things um, weren't really doing what I needed either. Because I'm, I'm working on where the uh, wave curls over. Um, so it's a fan rush type effect. Um, and I wasn't finding anything here in, in my uh, basics. Um, I thought about the smear um, knife and things, which does water um, very nicely and uh, also works on snow, mountains, and things, but I wasn't really finding um, anything that I was pleased with there. Um, in uh, KB, which comes with the uh, Howler. She's got a lot of uh, really neat things, and I've taken some of hers to um, in the past and made alterations to them um, for my own kinds of things. Uh, in fact, her pine tree or a tree sketch, tree sketch right there. Um, I turned it sideways and changed some parameters and everything, and that's what I use to do my water smears with. Um, it works really, really well for that kind of thing. But if you've gone through and you're not really seeing anything, you know, water dabs is, um, you know, cute possibility. But when you're, you know, doing that, they don't make a fall very well. So. Then it's time to um, look at different uh, other effects. So we can close this and do the brush and open. And in my case, I have a, a whole uh, folder that's just for um, various PNG type uh, brushes and things, things that I've converted um, as I showed in the other video. So take a look here and nature. We've got some water. And so I take a look at something that might uh, do the effect that I'm looking for. So um, these kinds of waves, not really. See, I should have looked this up before I started the video, but I was in the middle of things. Um, that one has a nice uh, swirl to it, but even if we, you know, pulled it down as the water tipping over the edge of the, uh, curling over the edge, that won't really do what we want. Some various splashes and things, water droplets. Some neat effects. 
um, but not really what I'm looking for. There's some nice splashes that would uh, go up on the top of the waves and I can remember to kind of come back to that. That's some nice um, waves that haven't uh, gone all the way over yet and uh, that one it does have some fall coming to it so I might uh, come back and use that one. Smoother water and over here um, there's another one, and we've got mostly foam and surfaced style water. That one might be a curl over as a possibility. Some rough water, splashing water, pouring water, waterfalls. Ah, there's a nice one that's uh, hitting up against a rock. It doesn't really have the curl over that uh, I'm looking for, but that might be a possibility. There we go. Now we're seeing some curl overs. Um, there's a nice curl there. doesn't really have the angle that I need, but I can move that around. Um, that's a possible curl tip over there. Um, and that one's crashing down uh, quite a bit uh, further. That's got some of the nice pieces rolling in there. So I think I'm going to go with this one because that does have the full uh, crash there and open that up as a brush. It's of course way bigger than what I need uh, here. So first thing I'm just going to go ahead and resample the brush to bring it down some um, so that it doesn't tax the system so badly. Put my opacity all the way up and bring my steps all the way down. And uh, I've got made sure I have black down here in the bottom. And so I'm going to come here to our um, brush key selector I wanted to use the alpha and just click on this um, once. Then if I decide I need, you know, a little bit more to, to go out of it, I can adjust from there. Um, but because this is a PNG picture, usually they will, in fact, they will often come in with the, uh, the color already out. Okay, I want white. So I come back up here and uh, I change my mode to matte. So now I've got nice white swirling crashing uh, waves. Still too big for uh, what I'm doing right here and opposite direction. So I'm going to flip it horizontal. So that will be going right along that um, wave line that I've got uh, started there. I'm going to go ahead and um, resample it again, um, this time about a thousand for my width. Now I can make my adjustments here for the amount of, uh, you know, wave crash that I want. This is, you know, of course far too bright a uh, white, and so I'm going to bring the opacity down significantly. And we will kind of stamp it down and see what we got. Uh, oh, brush transforms wasn't on. Okay, brush transforms right there. Now that's back on. And uh, it looks like I have something in my brush settings going on here too. Well, yep, sure I do. So. When something goes uh, odd, take a look at it, find out uh, what's going on. More than likely, it's in your brush settings. So, all the things not to do today um, for that uh, curve over there, I think I'd like just a little bit uh, smaller. So, this time when I resample, I'm going to take the constraint um, off. I want to bring this down to 450. 
and then bring that one down to. And for the second part, since I'm trying a new uh, video uh, camera, apparently it stops at 10 minutes. Um, we've reduced uh, the width and things down. Give it a try to see what it looks like, and that's pretty uh, close to what I'm looking at. I tap it down once, and that's a nice uh, start. Still too dark. Bring the opacity down some more. Since I already have part of my lines already in there, I don't need a whole lot more. And I want to adjust the brush just a touch more as well. So we've got it curling over the edge there. And line it up where I want it. A little bit of splash and things. And I've got a brush, uh, a wave starting right there. Now do it for the other side. I'll flip that over. And I need to change the angle uh, on it. And I'd like that a little bit smaller. So I adjust till I get it about where I uh, want it. Tap that in, and now we've got another one curling over. Now I won't just leave it straight like this, of course. I will then go in with some of the other brushes. But this gives me a base with that, you know, curl coming around. I might also, in the future, look for um, a fan brush and see if I can convert it over so that maybe I can go ahead and draw the, the curve in myself. Um, Alright, so I'll see if I can combine these uh, two pieces together and make one semi-seamless video. Um, I hope that was kind of uh, helpful. And When I'm done with it, I can uh, go to the browse media. If this is uh, one that I end up you know, liking and want to keep, then I would just tell it to um, save the current brush. And so it'll save it with uh, any of the things that I've put on here. It'll come up at size 35 and with the low opacity and whatnot. Any changes I've made here will also come up with that. So I would just do the save media and give it a name. And it is. Uh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. It's now saved. Ocean Curl. Because it's white, it doesn't uh, show up on this particular uh, system. This is the system look. Um, system. Theme. There we go. The system look uh, theme for um, Howler. So like I said, it won't show up here for that. So, um, there you go. I'm going to get back to work on this and finish up my little ocean uh, scene. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.